Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. We do a lot of short video clips explaining climate science and policy, and we were pleased to see that someone else had started doing some of the same. CO2 is awesome. It is the basis of all life on Earth and is 100% natural. CO2 is part of the circle of life. We breathe it out and plants breathe it in. Lots of people are throwing rocks at the wonderful little CO2 molecule these days. It seems they've forgotten that without it, we would all be dead. We spoke with Alan Chatney of Explore Geophysical, and we asked him if he'd like to come in and tell us why he'd become a YouTube star. You know, it's interesting, uh, Michelle. Like, I've spent um, almost three decades surrounded by uh, very good engineers and geoscientists, and all of our clients are geoscientists. So we understand the Earth really well, and for the longest time, uh, we've sort of been watching this, this um, uh, climate discussion with interest, and we've been trying to understand why the story so far has been so one-sided, and why the rest of the story hasn't, hasn't been getting out. And, and so it was a decision that I made sort of after seeing a few um, folks present, after doing some pretty extensive reading, and just coming up with the notion that somebody has to get the story out there. And um, I, guess, I, I guess that's why we started, started doing that, yeah. Plants need CO2, water, the sun, and key nutrients and enzymes to grow and survive. Using the energy of the sun, plants use the miracle of photosynthesis to turn CO2 and H2O into sugar and oxygen. And that CO2 is one of the basic building blocks of life. Somehow, CO2 has been portrayed as this, as this um, toxic thing, this bad thing. And without CO2, none of us would exist. Well, if CO2 is such a good thing, why is it demonized on a global scale? As we've transitioned to this regime of taxing carbon, mm -hmm. removing wealth from people who are generating wealth, and transferring that wealth to others, mm -hmm. the agenda becomes clear. I too am partisan. I too uh, have a vested interest. There's no question that that's true. But we should also understand the motivations of the other side and then have a rigorous discussion around that. So as a group of earth scientists, experts with lots of experience who work with climate change evidence every day that's written in the rock, what do you think when you hear the science is settled? What science really is, is the act of testing hypotheses using the scientific method. That's what it is. And so to say that science is settled, boy, that, that just does not ring true with me because science should never be settled. So the next time somebody tells you how bad CO2 is, remind them that without it, we would all die. Say no to climate CO2 coercion. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.